Iwana. Um, so Karen, when you're not when you're not acting, what is it that you enjoy doing for like Karen time? Do you movies, uh, walking on the beach? I I play Scrabble. Scrabble. Really? Yes. We got a game going. <laughs> we got to have a, some games. We I'm have going a... to retire and just play Scrabble. Scrabble. When I turn 75, I'm going to play <laughs> really? Scrabble. I'm going to do tournaments. Are you good at it? Though? I'm very good. Really? Yes. Uh. See, see, she said that with authority. Uh, she said she's And I'm good. very, I'm very, uh, 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 huh? uh, what do you what? call it when you're. You very, <laughs> you what? My memory. I'm She's very, very good something. We'll let I'm know. very Later. competitive. Ah. She, had, she had a game night at her house for her birthday <laughs> uh, last month, Karen. And it was. I got enemies. People had to walk me to my car because I take it serious. And we were I just playing like, Sabu. Yeah, one of my favorites. I love know. it. Yeah. And they were trying to change the horse in the middle of the race and stuff. And I was, I was like, no. And I take it serious. Mm-hmm. Like, no, we need to do it this way. And they're like, it's yeah. just a game. No, it's not. She played yeah. dirty. She was pushing people down and, and stuff. And-, and my daughter was there playing with me. And they were like, no, you guys are going to like. You're going to be, I'm like, when I'm playing a game, my kids is like somebody walking the street. I don't even know them. Mm -hmm. It's like, Mm -hmm. I'm going after Uh. them. I'm telling you. I'm like, I don't, and she was like the same thing. I don't want to play categories with you then. (laughs) Oh, yeah. I don't want to play that. She got sharp elbows. She gets to moving. So yeah. we're gonna, so we gonna I take this call, but I'm gonna have to challenge, uh, uh okay, oh, but I'm to, down. before you do that, maybe that's why Al Woodley oh. on Facebook said, he said, well, tell I her. I play Al on Scrabble. She said, he said, you can't beat him though. Oh. That's what he told me. I have beat him. Uh oh. <laughs> well, he's uh, probably only one. But he, that's what he said. But we're, we're playing on the computer, so he could cheat. But oh. then he could look in the dictionary. Oh. Oh, okay. I need to play him in person. Mm-hmm. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Let me, uh, we got Tawana. They back. Let's see what's going on. Tawana, Tijuana, okay, yeah. Tiana. Hi, I, hi, I'm here. It's Tijuana. 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 All right. Um, Karen should remember me from Howard. I doubt if she does because she just blew up once we all left Howard. Oh. But uh, I know that when I was a freshman, Karen was Miss Howard University. Yes. And we worked together at Phillips Flagship. Nobody ever believes me when I tell them that. Oh. That's um, true. I did work at Phillips. See. And I remember that when you were there, you were funny as all get out, even when we worked at Howard, I mean, worked at Phillips Flagship together. And so my question is geared towards when you see children that have natural gifts and how to get them into the industry without paying your way in, because I don't think there's such a thing as paying your way in. I think when you're gifted, it comes naturally, and you shouldn't have to pay to get into the industry. That's, that's, that's very right. true, Tijuana. Um, you, you shouldn't pay. Um, that's that. There are a lot of scams out there. A lot of people trying to make money. Uh, certainly, all for talented kids. Um, the only time you pay is once an agent gets you a job, and you pay them ten percent. You shouldn't pay any more than ten percent. If they're a manager, um, the manager fees can go anywhere from fifteen to twenty percent. Yeah. Um, some Mm -hmm. may try to get twenty five percent, but really try to keep it anywhere between fifteen and twenty. But you definitely should not pay for an audition. You should not pay to be seen Mm -hmm. by casting director. Um, there are a lot of free showcases, but. Certainly get your your kid um, doing a lot of classes mm-hmm. and, um, you know, a lot there. But there are a lot of uh, reputable agencies out there who will um, see your child and, and get your headshots and, and get them out there. But you be very wary of, of those uh, folks seeking to ask you to pay right. even yeah. to audition mm-hmm. in advance. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm, I'm still in Washington, D.C., so it was it's important for me to get you on the line tonight. It is excellent to hear your voice. Oh, you too, I Tijuana. That, I, I hope that you're back in the area soon, and I will try to keep up with you on Facebook. Oh, thank you so much. Perfect. Thanks for the call. Thank Thanks, Thanks for Tijuana. calling. Take care. Oh, wow, that brings memories. You gave me chills. <laughs> you know, somebody you worked with a couple years ago. Yeah. You know, yes. I was a terrible waitress, too. <laughs> <laughs> Because I would be in the back and pretending I'm folding napkins and I'd be talking to all the guys. And, yeah, yeah. and I forget. I have a table. I had a couple of tables walk out on me. It oh, was it was hilarious. pretty bad. Yeah. Um, I had an, another. Um, I was talking with because uh, I sent out so many different 
things telling everybody you were going to be on the show. Mm-hmm. And everybody was connected to you some way or another. And it was Marcel Wright. She said she worked with you yes, doing a short. Yes, we just did a short together. I was like, well, dang, this girl is everywhere. <laughs> so she told me to tell you hello. Yay. And I'm now taking acting classes with Alexia Robinson. Oh. And she, hey. yeah, I right. work in Lexia. Yeah, on Malcolm and Eddie. And she said she uh. is. She said Karen is crazy talented. She said, "Tell her I said hi." And then Carl Gilliard. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, Gilliard. so I have so many messages from everybody because I know all these people. And when I mentioned you, they were like, "Oh yeah, I love her." And then there was someone because um, you're from Philadelphia, yeah, Philly. Philly. Uh huh. He he lives in Philadelphia, and he said, uh, which is Lawrence Banks, I believe. He was. He said he was hanging out with your sister a couple of days ago. Oh, like okay. a week ago. Okay. And tell her how. I'm like, y'all need to get tell her yourself, mm-hmm. okay? <laughs> <laughs> so those are the people so far that was giving me shout outs. Say, tell Karen hi. Yes. I I got a couple. I'm 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 on the music side of things. You mm-hmm. know, I try to catch some shows and things every now and again. If I were to go on your CD player or your your CD case or something like, what what CDs would I find? You would find Layla Hathaway. You oh. would find Let It See. Okay. You would find, um, who else do I have in there? Um, do you Avant. Sing? I don't sing. You no. don't? I was going to ask, that I was my next question. I am not a superwoman. I am not that superwoman. Because, you know, every every actor, uh, entertainer, they get to, they, they try one time. So I was wondering if you ever was like, I'm going to make a song, and you just swept it under the rug because it didn't really. Ooh, I wish no. I could have dug up something that you. <laughs> what is that called? Auto-tone? It's Auto-tone. Auto-tone. Auto-tune. 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 A whole lot of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. A lot of mixing. A lot of mixing. But hearing your voice, you sound like you, you're you a singer, though. Thank you. you uh-huh. I mean, really. Thank you. You know, people, because I, I, I sing, and uh-huh. people will say, this, you sing, don't you? I'm like. Yeah, you've been standing outside my shower. Away. <laughs> and I was like, no, they can. You have a, your voice. They can tell. People say singer. that. You know what? If I took lessons, I could probably be somewhat decent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> you was like, no. no. Yeah. Right now, you wouldn't pay. <laughs> <laughs> I can dig it. I can dig it. What is Karen's pet peeve? My pet peeve. Like, what is something yeah. you like? Like that you just really? Because I have a lot of pet peeves. <laughs> right. Um. And uh, I, you know, I. I try not to focus on my pet peeve. But what is what has been the worst experience you had as far as fans when you're out um, and you get approached by? Are you approachable? Do, um, do you, yeah, I'm pretty. But I think probably people like to because I'm so short mm-hmm. and they grab you and yeah. oh, they, no. they kiss yeah. you. <laughs> and mm-hmm. well, I guess my pet peeve is. The pen out your mouth and, and sign. Can you oh, sign? Oh, oh, no. Okay. And, oh, yeah. No. Like, but sure, let me get my own pen out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That and is, sometimes that people, I know, I can just imagine when you, <laughs> when they nasty. fall in love with your character or they see your character on TV, they feel like they know you. Right. right. So, and then coming up and then you're like, whoa, hold right. up now. Yeah, yeah. The wor- up, the, but the worst one, and, and, and I can understand that. And, you know, I'll pull out my, the worst one is they don't talk to you. They, mm-hmm. It's like you're still on TV, mm-hmm. and they just want to take their phone, phone start right camera phones, phone. mm-hmm. and, t- and they're talking about, oh, that's her? No, that's not her. And they it's like, right there I face, can right? hear you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, is that her? That ain't her. It looks like her. That is- yeah. You can say you something, I can hear you. Right. You so you would me. prefer a person to walk up and say, hi, right. can I enjoy yeah, your work. Right. And, yeah. and and they, and I know I can just imagine, because um, I'm not there yet. I haven't been. TMZ soon don't, come, don't come. Yeah, they don't chase me. I'd be like, TMZ, I'm doing bad me? stuff. And they're like, yeah, move to the side. <laughs> <laughs> Careful what you yeah, ask for, for honey. Don't ask for that, I know. Right? <laughs> I know. Don't. And I know eventually I'm going to be like, well, you get the camera. Uh-huh. And I see it and I feel so bad. And what I, what people always say, well, they're in the public eye. They're on TV. They should be used to that. But everybody get a day off. Yeah. Right. You know, so if it, you should I just try. because it, that's it, your it job. It does come with the territory. You it know, does. that's your job. That's your profession. So if that's what you're doing, entertaining people on TV, you still get a You should have some time off. At least ask. Do you mind if I take a picture with you? Right. Mm-hmm. Or whatever. Do you want to fix your makeup or whatever now? You know, but I know they'll just come up and just, uh, you know, hey. while you're eating in the oh, middle of a man. conversation it's with their out. kids. Yeah. It, it, yeah. Get, it gets with the territory. Ain't yeah. nobody just going to come understand. up and touch me. They're yeah. excited, so you. unless I'm having a bad day, I'm, I'm pretty cool about it. Oh, good, Uh-oh. good, good. <laughs> good. <laughs> She's a, uh, it, it gets, it gets a little PMS. Yeah. Like, uh, 
good or bad day, you walk up and touch me, one. you might get snapped in half. I don't like nobody touch me. I don't care what the circumstance <laughs> is. You ain't gonna come up and touch I, me. I was at the airport.